No impact on the financial statements here, but we can track it by going to the expenses side of things on the left hand side. We might track it say by the vendor. And if you're in the business view, by the way, you might see well, what if I'm in the business view is what people probably are saying. If you're in the business view, you can find, you can go to the get paid and paid area and then uh, you're in the vendor section down below. That's for you people that are saying that. So then in the vendors, <clears throat> we've got the purchase orders. We could sort, sort them by purchase order. And there's that new vendor we set up, Fender, the new vendor, and we've got the one purchase order. So if I go into that, then we've got the purchase order. We can send it and we can copy it to a bill. So once we get the stuff, the box of guitars with the bill in it, remembering that bill for layman's terms, normal terms outside of QuickBooks terms is different, more broad, less specific than bill within QuickBooks, which is a bill form, which specifically will increase the accounts payable. We'll do that at a future time. We also have in the expenses tab over here, the expenses tab <laughs> in the expenses tab, and we can sort and filter this way too for purchase orders per se, for example, purchase orders. And then we can have all purchase orders, but maybe just the open ones and there's our open purchase order. But what if you're in the, what if you're in the business view, people might be saying, then it's not under the get paid pay area. They put that other piece for some reason in its specific spot, which is under the, under the bookkeeping transactions up top and then under the expenses tab on the right. So it's there. They're just trying to confuse, just trying to confuse you. Why? Cause that's, they can. So there's no change to the financial statements. We didn't even look at them. We don't need to look at a trial balance or anything because we didn't do anything to it. 